This is Stephen Holden with the New York Times. I'm going to talk about the Tribeca Film Festival, which is now becoming an old veteran festival in the festival world. There's one movie called Bombay Beach, that nickname of a community by the Salton Sea, which was created in the California desert by the Colorado River flooding. It's, it's a surreal movie in which the actual residents do little dance numbers uh, in between having their lives profiled, and they're very sad, out-of-the-loop lives, people who are really off the grid. The Bully Project which is just a, excruciating to watch because it's about <clears throat> teenagers and, and kids who are, for one reason or another, subjected to bullying that leads some to commit suicide. Another movie that I like very much in the documentary competition is Despicable Dick and Righteous Richard, which are the two names for a character, a real a real guy in his late 60s who just was did tolerable damage to many ex-wives and children and everything as a drunken maniac. It follows him as he goes around to make amends and is working the steps of the 12-step program. I was somewhat taken with Black Butterflies, this fictionalized biography of Ingrid Jonker, a poet who committed suicide in 1965 at 31, starring Carice Van Houten. She's regarded as the Sylvia Plath of South Africa. There's a very original comedy called Jesus Henry Christ, which is about a 10-year-old child prodigy who is a test tube baby. He has a photographic memory, and it's a really zany comedy of one-of-a-kind comedy. I can't even begin to describe it to you because it's so, it's played very broadly, but it's very smart. God bless Ozzy Osbourne, takes you even deeper into the Osbourne mystique, if that's what you want to call it, than the television show, The Osbournes. There are two biographies. That are, one of them is Carol Channing, who is now 90, and her life and times, and she's just an endless storyteller. And it really gives an insight into, into what it takes to be a star, the kind of personality that you have to have to be a real star. The other one is Mama Africa, a celebration of Miriam Makiba, the great South African singer who came to the United States in the early, around 1960. And uh, she's just one of the great international singers of our time. For the New York Times, this is Stephen Holden.